confess, Father, I confess, cause I've been living wrong. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Vex here. So on today's episode, you could say, uh, we're doing our first champion spotlight. So today I decided, let's do Beast. He's a really fun character to play, and he kind of takes some learning to get uh, used to. So I think personally he's worthy of rank 4 if you don't have anybody else to bring up to rank 4. Uh, but besides that, it's also personal preference. Uh, I think he might be my next rank 4 champion. So the thing with him is that when he's in freestyle mode, he starts in freestyle mode above 50% of health. So when he's in freestyle mode and you do a medium 3 lights and you end on a medium combo, he does direct damage and causes bleed. And when you successfully complete the medium freestyle cycle, I guess, he has a higher crit chance to cause more bleeds. And he's able to stack plenty of bleeds. I've stacked a total of like four to five bleeds before with him, if you're lucky. So when you pop off an L1, he stuns the opponent. It's only a 50% chance to stun, and he stays in his freestyle mode. But if you do manage to lose some health, which I'll show in the video, uh, you need to gain some health back, and you also want to power control the champion, you'll want to use his L2, which his L2 is his acrobatic mode, which once you activate it, it has an 80% chance to stun the opponent. And also, if you take a blocked hit, then do a medium, light, light, medium, you gain health back. You gain 119.66 health per move back. And you could keep doing this uh, total to bring your health back up to full. And in the video, I'll try to show you all of that. Also, when in acrobatic mode, they have a 55% less chance to gain power. So when you're attacking them, their power decreases by 55%. So they're gaining power a hell of a lot less. Hence him being a power control champ. Uh, if you play him correctly. Also, his special attack 3 increases his attack by 19.83 per hit in the combo meter, but only up to 150% attack total increase. Uh, I haven't tested if it's per SP3 or not. It's something we could look into into the future, but other than that, guys, I'll bring you uh, into Realm of Legends and I'll show you what's going on. So now that Beast is loading up to head into the Realm of Legends, I decided to slow down this video clip for you guys because I wanted you to really see what Beast is capable of, especially at rank 3 level 30. So right off the bat, you see that he's hitting 649 on his mediums with a crit, basically. And then with that, he's also hitting a consistent 250 extra direct damage. So when the freestyle is ready to be activated, it's just sitting in the corner. It'll say freestyle also. And then you're able to successfully successfully pull off the five hit combo, which again is the medium, light, 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 medium attack. So with this, when it's active, you're able to pull direct damage for all those five hits. And also you have a higher chance of bleeding the opponent. So when you successfully activate your... Uh, freestyle it'll say success just like it did there and from here you'll have a higher chance to bleed the opponent you can stack up to like four to five bleeds if you're lucky i mean I, that's what i've stacked beforehand and also when you keep popping off his l1s you can stun the opponent but it's only a 50 percent chance so here i'm trying to build up to his l2 because i want to show you guys his acrobatic mode i want to show you that he can heal himself i mean it's not viable really but i mean if you play the opponent slow and if you really know how to play beast consistently you'll be able to heal yourself potentially all the way back up so when you do drop an l2 you have an 80 percent chance to stun the opponent and when you're also in acrobatic mode their power goes up a heck of a lot slower so i believe it reduces power gain for them by like 55 percent like every single hit you do, as long as you're in this mode, it's 55% uh, decreased power to them. So first to activate acrobatic mode, you have to hit, you have to get hit first. So basically what you want to do is drop a parry, then do a medium, light, light, medium for the full effect of this. So over here, I'm obviously trying to bring my health down and I got hit twice there and I was still able to fully get off this attack with no problem. And if you're low on health, you're going to want to stay in acrobatic mode. And also, 
you have a 80% chance to stun the opponent when in acrobatic mode. So Beast can heal himself. Uh, it could be pretty viable down the line if you decide to use him in Alliance Quest or even Alliance War. He has his uses. I used him in Road to the Labyrinth and a few other quests uh, down the line. So I hope you guys got like a basic understanding of Beast and how he could be used in Alliance Quest and Alliance War. And also everything you've seen in this video is only from a rank three level 30 Beast. Of course, if you bring him up to rank four, his damage output will obviously be higher. His direct damage will be higher and also will his bleeds. Uh, he's a viable champion. I like him. I've always wanted to bring him to rank four. And right now I don't really have any viable champions to bring to rank four since I have everyone that I need. Uh, Beast will probably go to rank 4 just for fun. Maybe use him in Alliance Quest down the line just for shits and giggles basically. Uh, but just remember when you are in freestyle mode you gotta drop a medium, 3 lights and another medium. In acrobatic mode you have to get hit first. So to do that remember drop a parry then do a medium then do 2 light attacks and then a medium last to get the full amount of your heal. And then also with his special attack 3, it says that he increases attack by 19.83 per hit in the combo meter, up to 150% total attack increase. I've tested it, I've tried it, I don't really see too much of a difference uh, down the line. I don't know if it goes up every single time you drop a special attack 3, but I've tried it and I don't really think it's that worth to try to consistently do. I think you should just play him as more in his freestyle mode because you can switch between freestyle acrobatic dropping stuns stun locking almost and just keep going from there and playing the champion but i hope you guys like this video this is something i've wanted to do for a while now and if you guys like these videos these instrumental videos i guess uh let me know in the comments below uh don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys